Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are out here today, as you can see, the garden area behind me. We have opened up all of our rows. It is potato planting season for us. It is the time, according to the almanac, when you plant a below ground crop, you want to make sure you start after the full moon. You want the moon when it's waning out and not increasing. You want it on the decrease whenever you're going in the ground with your potatoes or any root crop like that. Now granted, February the uh, 6th through the 10th, 12th in that area like that is actually the perfect days, but those days for us are all rain here, so we can't wait and plant them because there are no more days in February that is set aside to plant for us. So we're going to try to just start focusing on, this is the first day after the full moon, which is supposed to be okay according to the almanac and the way that you plant by the moon. It may not be the perfect day, but it is one of the days that we can use. So we're going to start off here by going ahead. We're going to be doing some things in our garden this year this, um, that you may not have seen us do before. We're going to be adding some Epsom salt into our soil because we found out that we have some magnesium deficiencies in our soil. And potatoes need magnesium to build a cell structure in the plants to, so that we keep good, healthy, dark green plants and just good potatoes in general. It's a, um, it is not one of your staple things that you need to put in the soil always. It's a trace mineral, and we're gonna be adding that to our soil this year when we plant. So we're gonna take you along on this journey while we plant potatoes. All right, guys, this is what we're using here. We're using the high yield brand uh, magnesium sulfate. We're gonna add that to our potato rows before we actually plant our potatoes. That way we know we're getting the magnesium in the soil that the potatoes need to have good green foliage and not the yellowing on the leaves and stuff that we see a lot of times. We noticed last year we had some yellowing of the leaves. So this year we're adding it to make sure that we don't have this and we get good cell structure in our plants. So we're gonna put this out. Now I don't actually have a prescribed amount per row that I'm going to do. We're just gonna put it out in the row because we've got We've got a lot of rows here. We've got a quarter of an acre of potatoes to plant. So we're going to try to make this go all the way if we can. We've got three bags of it to try to see if it'll get the job done for us. Now it may tell us on the bag here, um, it says to apply at a rate of one pound per hundred square feet. And this is a four pound bag. So this should do 400 square feet or we're going to... Uh, we're just gonna sprinkle some down the rows and hope that we get it right. That's all I can tell you. Magnesium sulfate, guys, is just basically Epsom salt. You could actually go to your local stores and buy Epsom salt. We were in the feed store, they had it there. It's not much difference than what it costs in a grocery store. So we just decided to stay out of the, the big box stores. We, we supported our local farm supply place.
Okay guys, we've got three rows planted. We have them up on top of flat beds as you can see. We've got a lot of rain coming. Our theory is if we put them up on beds and leave a furrow down between them for the water to drain off the beds that the potatoes will actually have a chance to grow and not maybe rot in the ground with all the rain we have coming. So it's just it's merely a theory for us right now. We're hoping that it works. We have got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six more rows to go. Okay guys, what I've got here, this is a bucket of potatoes that we saved from last year. We are trying our best to create our own variety of potatoes here. Now these are sprouting. We're not going to cut them. Uh, last year we cut a bunch of ours and put them in the ground uh, after they had cured. And some of them, probably over half of them rotted. Uh, we were only able to harvest about half of what we planted last year on our own. So this year, we are going to plant the whole potato. They're not very big, they're small. Um, they're about the size of the chunks we just planted on the ones that we cut up. So we saved these purposely to plant this year and we eat the big ones. And these have already started from the cellar making some real good eyes on them and real good plants starting. So we're gonna put these in the ground and we know which rows it is. So we're gonna try to Guys, we're just going to try to see if we can't create our own potato for here in the south that um, that we can depend on. Because let's just ch let's just be honest about it. If a life-changing event takes place, we have nowhere to go buy seed potatoes. And if we haven't taken the years in advance to create our own that's already adapted to our area, then we'll have no potatoes. So that is our journey that we're on right now. And we're fixing to put these in the field and see what we come up with this year. Okay guys, we have finished. We've got all of our potatoes in now. We're looking forward to a good harvest this year. We're praying that the good Lord gives us a good harvest and weather cooperates. We don't lose our potatoes. We're praying for about 450 pounds this year if we can come up with that many because that's what we need to make it through a year. And we decided to take y'all on this journey again this year. We do have other potatoes. Another potato videos, uh, there'll be in the link up here if you want to watch uh, the potatoes. We also have some videos on planting fingerling potatoes. We'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. Uh, we're going to get them in the ground here probably next week or two. And see, we'll do a video for that for you. But um, I'm going to tell you all thank you for coming along on this journey. And thank you from Deep South Homestead. <laughs>